So how can we, we be an ally to ourselves, be an ally to others? An ally is a person that wants to fight for the equality of a marginalized group that they're not a part of. When you say you have a commitment, you have a total commitment. I'm deaf, Peter Norman, any day, morning, noon, and night, just based on the character and the moral character of this individual. Be like Peter Norman. That was what civil rights icon John Carlos told me when I had the privilege of helping facilitate a meeting between him and modern day icon Colin Kaepernick. In today's hyper-political climate, hate crimes have increased every week. There's a new racist video circulating and the president himself uses America's worst massacre as a punchline in an awful joke. So I'm often asked by many predominantly white people who follow me, what can I do? Well, as it happens, this was a question I asked John Carlos that night and he gave a response, which I think should be heard by the world. Be like Peter Norman. And I turned to Peter and I asked him, I said, Peter, I said, do you believe in human rights? And he said, of course. And I said to him, I said, would you like to wear an Olympic Project for Human Rights button? And he said, yeah. He wanted to be included in this. When you think of a protest against injustice, many of you will remember John Carlos and Tommy Smith, who at the 1968 Olympics famously raised their gloved fists to protest racial injustice. As a result, they were vilified, called traitors, and even expelled from the Olympic Games. But what is often overlooked in this heroic moment in US history was the role of Peter Norman, the Australian athlete who stood side by side with his black competitors. Now this part of the story, while undertold, is still somewhat recognized. Peter said he would stand by them wearing a human rights badge. One must realize what that button cost him. As a result, Peter Norman was also punished for his role in this protest. He was ridiculed upon his return to his homeland, suffering unofficial sanctions by his own Olympic committee. After 1968, he never ran in the Olympics again. But there is more, the part that gave me chills. A part of this story that John emphasized to me as I sat listening open mouth, a part that I have carried with me and that has helped sculpt my idea of what it means to be an ally. When long enough time had passed and Americans began to recognize Carlos and Smith for the heroes they were, they decided to create a monument. On October 17, 2005, the 37th anniversary of the event, a statue was unveiled at their alma mater, California's San Jose State University. Now, as you can see, only Carlos and Smith appear on the statue and the reason is astounding. Carlos told me the day he received the call informing him of the monument he, as he always did, insisted Peter Norman be honored and remembered as well. Carlos then called his dear friend and informed him of the plans to honor their sacrifice, to which Norman responded, leave the spot where I stood open so that others can stand with you. Norman requested that his space was left empty so that visitors who visited the exhibit could stand in his place and feel what he felt. This absolutely took my breath away and was so symbolic of what it means to be an ally in the fight against injustice that this man, often overlooked in the history of this event, who had been mistreated by his own countrymen after representing them honorably in the Olympic Games, wanted nothing more than for future generations to stand beside these icons on this mantle. Now, I'm not going to put words in Dr. Carlos's mouth on how he wanted you or anyone else to interpret that, but for me, it reminded me that I must listen, stand beside those who face oppression and lend my voice to the fight, encouraging others like me to stand with them. I will never forget that night, nor will I forget my role because of this. So maybe after hearing this story, you might identify yours as well. For more on this, come over to my Instagram at Francis M. Maxwell. You can become a member, tyt.com slash join. Want to see more videos like this? Then subscribe to the TYT channel below and don't forget to become a TYT member get access for as little as $4.99 a month, download the TYT Plus app on your phone, or head over to tyt.com slash join today.